What's up guys? It's Samantha here with Samantha Race the Recipe and I'm coming to you today with a 140 by 40 video. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by. What 140 by 40 is, is my weight loss journey. I know you're probably like, what? Rate the recipe? Weight loss, that don't go together. Well, before I, it, I began this journey, I was just going on the internet and you know, seeing all the recipes that I love and save and save and save and don't never cook while well, I was cooking them. But I got a health scare basically when I went to, um, to do a biometric screening for work and I found out that I was 288 pounds. I am 5'5". Five five. That is too much. My body cannot sustain that weight and it has been telling me ever since last Monday, it is tired of carrying around all of this junk. So, having said that, I'm trying to, not trying, I'm switching gears a little bit. And the recipes that we'll be rating will be things that I will be trying to incorporate into my life to start a, um, a positive journey towards my health. So, meal preps, you know, grocery hauls and things like that, healthier meals, um, but with flavor. So don't worry, even though this past week meal prep was chicken and rice and salad, it was really just because I don't know what to do, but I was like scared into submission, scared straight. And I just did what I knew for a fact would work for um, a quick meal prep that, I, that would be tasty and would help me kind of jumpstart this journey. So um, I'll insert a picture here of what I ate this week basically. For breakfast I had a protein shake and then for dinner I had whatever we had for dinner. So one day we had broccoli, um, uh, broccoli, soup, broccoli and cheese soup. We had um, shepherd's pie. I had that two nights. Um, the third night I had a salad. Um, I don't remember what else I had, but basically whatever we had for dinner. But um, with all that we ate, I got down this morning, I weighed myself, or this afternoon rather, I weighed myself. And I'm pleased to announce that I am 250, let me look at the thing, 285.7. So I lost a little bit and I'm happy about it. So we'll do the um, weekly, up, weekly weight updates and um and let you know how things are going um if you're interested in being on this ride with me which i really really hope you are because what i'm looking for at this time is for you guys to help encourage me to keep going right i'm 38 years old so that's the 140 by 40 i'll be 40 in two years and, or a little under two years in december is my birthday so um by the time i'm 40 I would like to weigh 140, that's the goal, right? And so I'm giving myself enough time to really make a lifestyle change. I don't want to like do some kind of quick, crazy um, diet and that be that. I want to do something that's gonna be sustainable for how I eat in life. And right now I'm gonna try to limit eating out but eventually I'm going to have to, you know, my work, we have a lot of working lunches, a lot of times where I have to go out um, and I'm going to have to learn how to eat well for my life in these spaces, in these places. So what I would like you guys to do is, if you don't mind, drop down in the comments below names of different channels that you watch that cook healthy foods. Um, I don't care if it's vegan, I wanna try everything. So don't even worry about that kind of stuff. Um, meal prep channels, your favorite recipe. I wanna do all of that, try all of that because I don't wanna get burnt out, <laughs> okay? That's gonna be easy for me to do. I don't want to get burnt out on any type of food. I don't want to get to the place where I'm just, you know, go in at it, you know, full speed ahead and then quit because I done tapped out early, right? I don't want to do that. I really want to make a sustainable change. Oh, so working out. Child, let me tell you what, okay? I did not get to work out this week because like I mentioned before, one of the things that has been a quick side effect, like the second that lady told me I weighed 288, it's like my back shut down. So I was really like <laughs> incapacitated for like three days. 
so it's still pretty achy but like I'm able to move around a little bit so thank God for that but um I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow it's a new doctor so it's kind of like just a um introductory visit but I do want to talk about some of the things that I want to do so I want to end up doing a full blood work I want to know about my um my blood pressure my um glucose levels um all of that kind of stuff um cholesterol and make sure that those things are in order which i got those numbers at the biometric screening but i want to go over them with my doctor find out you know exactly where i should be what my goals should be so i can have a realistic um view of my health right i'm more likely than not gonna um request a referral to a um to a nutritionist because I want to talk about what kinds of foods are good for me, what kinds of things I can eat, and then build a real um, a real plan for myself. And hopefully all is well. Hopefully all will be well. I'm sure it will be. I feel really good about this. Um, one of the things that I did do in terms of exercise, so like I said, I didn't exercise at all this week. So I was able to get down to 285.7. Woo woo, that feels like, oh, just a little twinge in my soul. is like, oh, not 285, but also I'm happy about it because I was 288 last Monday. So that's a small victory, right? And I wanna make sure that I celebrate those so that I am able to really continue on with the journey, right? I don't wanna be like, oh, I wanna lose 50 pounds by whatever, cause that is like such a big bite to take, right? So I wanna take this small, you know small steps um at a time and to make sure that i have some really sustainable um growth having said that i want to probably get um well, we were talking about exercise y'all are gonna learn that child i'll be all over the place when i be talking but i'm gonna try to get it under control so exercise I ordered a treadmill. I really did not want to spend a lot of money just because I have not proven to myself that I'm going to be consistent with the exercising. Even though I'm saying it now and I feel really encouraged and really motivated to do it, I don't want to spend, you know, $2,000, $1,500, whatever the case may be, on exercise equipment that ends up being a coat rack. So what I did was I bought, and it's also hard finding like the low to mid range um treadmills that are for higher weight capacities right i've never really even paid attention to that before but a lot of them are like max weight capacity for 250 250 and i was like eek, if i get that that bell probably ain't gonna even you know spin round 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 right round so i was able to find one i want to say it was like maybe 350 a little bit more with like tax and all of that kind of stuff and shipping but it works the way capacity is 300 pounds, <laughs> so I need to try it before it, it's gonna be here on the 14th. So hopefully I can lose a little four or five pounds <laughs> before it gets here next week. But I am converting my garage to a gym workout area because I hate going to the gym. I don't be wanting to put on shoes sometimes. Sometimes I don't want to wear a bra, and I want to feel comfortable to do that. And I can do that in my own home. So. We, I need to go out and um, measure the area and I'll um, do a video where you can see the garage, how it looks now and how it comes along. But I want to get weights and all that kind of stuff because one of my biggest concerns is excess skin, loose hanging skin and losing a hundred pounds and at my age that it's just it's just a big concern of mine. And so I want to try to lift weights to combat, combat having that hanging loose skin. Um, yeah, so if you were able to listen through all of that, I really appreciate it. And I am asking you, drop in the comments down below 140 by 40, 140 by 40 to hype me up, encourage me. And if you yourself are on a weight loss journey, put that in the comments below too, because I would love to encourage you as well. Um, put your favorite recipes, like I said, in the comments below. Your favorite YouTubers, your favorite um, Food Network people, your favorite TikTok people who are doing healthy recipes and meal preps and meal plans. I want to see all of that kind of stuff. So leave that down in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, now's the time to hit that button and ring the bell so that you won't miss a beat. And I will catch y'all next time.